Wow, this new camera is ooh, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> After Christmas, I'm always so bloated and gassy. You know, the last thing I want is a huge feast. But to keep the Ziggy Express zooming, I need to refuel. And I found the perfect recipe for a sweet treat that's not only scrumptious, but also keeps my wind at bay. Jim! You're rude. Now, say pardon me. I know what you're thinking. Ingredients. First of all, you'll need some les pommes. That's, uh, that's actually apple in uh, French. I have a French GCC. You'll need some brown sugar. Sugar. Sh sugar's a, uh, a term us professional cooks use. You'll need some lemon and zest. <laughs> Ziggy loves zest. <laughs> you'll need some ground cinnamon. Before anyone asks, I'm not doing the cinnamon challenge. Jam! 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 You'll need some phyllo pastry, some melted butter, and some icing sugar as well. Enchanté, let's begin. So I call this device the Segmentor. It's really simple to use, all you do is just push down on the crown of the apple and it splits into segments. Really easy, that you just push down and there we go, it splits. Next, slice your peeled segments, Jim forgot to film that bit, into cubes. Well, you know, they're more like 3D irregular quadrilaterals, but anyway, add them to your pot, followed by brown sugar, about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, Ziggy's zingy zest of a lemon, I love alliteration, then squeeze the juice out of half of the lemon. Then cook on a low heat for about five minutes. Bubble, bubble, toil and bubble, fire, bubble. Bubbles. Bubbles! While that's cooling, you're going to cut your phyllo pastry into squares. Here is my brush. You know, I didn't wash it last time, so it still has a bit of solidified egg in it, but you know, that's fine, just, just pick that out. Brush the melted butter onto the squares, and then place one on top of the other, forming a diamond. Slosh some of the apple stew onto the pastry, and fold the pastry to make a parcel. Be very gentle with the sack, because they can split, and then all the juice comes out, and you know, it's a real nuisance. And here they are. So, my fruity parcels are ready to be toasted for about 20 to 25 minutes until they reach a golden brown. Right, let's put them in. What is that I hear? It's the oven. Here are my fruity sacks. Now you may be thinking, oh, Ziggy, Ziggy. They look a bit crispy. By crispy, I mean black. <laughs> well, yes, they are slightly overdone, but I like to call overdone, well done. Anyway, this is where we use icing sugar to our advantage. advantage. So the sacks do also have a bit of a soggy bottom, but you know, moisture adds texture. So what we do here is sprinkle the icing sugar over the sacks. Now of course I can't eat all of these by myself, you know, with my flatulence and everything, um, but I know a certain group of people who will definitely enjoy eating my fruity sacks. Anyone for a fruity sack? not only creates an explosion of flavour, but brings people together. What better way to spend an evening with friends nibbling on my sacks? And who knows, maybe you might follow my tutorial, and then you can nibble on your own sacks too. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you've had a crust of a time. Ta-ta.